So I have lots of fun stuff that I want to show you on my new property. So we're just going to make a quick run through video. So a few months ago, I was quoted for $8,000 to put in a gate opener. And I thought that was too much money. So I checked Amazon and these are only $800. And all it is is a linear actuator bolted to the gate. And then I use some concrete anchors to mount it to the wall. And both actuators are connected to this control circuit. It's a very simple circuit. We have some programming buttons, a potentiometer for max force settings. We have actuator one, actuator number two. And then these two wires go out to a 12 volt battery. And you can actually charge this 12 volt battery, which is typically a lead acid, by connecting a solar panel right here. But I thought, hey, this is a perfect opportunity for me to make my own system. So on the front, we have the control box. And on the other side, where it gets more sunshine, I built a micro solar power system. And this is the solar power system. The original required was a 15 watt panel, so I added a 100 watt panel. And this is mounted to a milk crate with zip ties. And this is it, we have a pulse width modulation controller, a super cheap talent cell lithium iron phosphate, and a bunch of bricks because the wind on this property is absolutely insane. If you do not secure something to the ground, it will fly away. And this has survived 120 degree Fahrenheit days, and it's been working for over a month now. But let's see if if it works for a few years that will be the real test but yeah pretty cool and super cheap i still need to put this cable under the ground but i'll do that eventually it's uv resistant so i don't really care <laughs> but yeah so far it works and i haven't had a single issue it works every single day and much cheaper than eight thousand dollars that's for sure Next cool update is I bought a Ford Transit T250, a 2019 with only 20,000 miles on it. And I could live in this thing. As you guys know, I lived in vehicles for over nine years. So this is my ultimate backup getaway mobile. But for now, I just use it for work, for transporting that hardy board, solar panels, lumber, metal, pretty much everything that I wanna move, I'm gonna move it with this thing. And personally, I love these way more than any truck. I can tow 9,000 pounds. I have way more cargo capacity, a lower center of gravity, and it's more fuel efficient. I get 20 miles to the gallon on the highway with this thing. This model has tons of points where I can hook straps. So if I want to strap heavy things down, I can. And being able to tow 9,000 pounds, I can tow any of my trailers. And personally, I will never buy an electric truck or vehicle for towing. I think it's a ridiculous idea. You will get half to one fourth the range. And the time that you would be stuck at a charger would be ridiculous. Last week I was in Flagstaff. It took an hour to get a charger and it took an hour and 10 minutes to charge up because three of them were broken. And that was with a Tesla supercharger. So yeah, if I'm towing, I'm not gonna be using an electric vehicle. I'm gonna use this. This thing's awesome. And compared to my RVs, this thing is so easy to drive. It has a backup camera, it has really nicely placed mirrors, and it has good power. I'm pretty impressed by this thing. So yeah, I'm going to keep this for a very long time. This is the business work vehicle. And now that I have the gate opener, using my golf cart with the Tesla battery packs is super easy. I just press a button and I can drive this out through my neighborhood. And the SIG solar panel is still charging this 100%. It works perfectly. I've literally not done anything to this golf cart ever since I built it like a year ago. And I still use the inverter to run power tools. So yeah, very simple system and it works great. Also, I don't know what to do with this trailer anymore. I took the system I had in here out of it, but uh, yeah, the other system produces so much power and I use it every day, so I don't even know what to do with this. And this is my mini shooting range for airsoft and BB guns. And I think every man should have one of these. This is great. You can go in your backyard and shoot something. I can't show firearms on a monetized video though, so I'll have to save that for another channel if I make it in the future. I also got rid of my main coon and I have this little kitty now. How freaking adorable is this little cat? And this cat is literally perfect. I feed her dry food and she doesn't cry like a big baby. She sleeps all day long. She's the only one that lives here. It's just me and her in a 5,000 square foot house. So, yep. And remember the Mydia U air conditioner? This thing is more efficient than the split system of my house. And it's nice to have because I only run this at night when all the other air conditioners are off. So highly recommended. I haven't had a single issue. It took like 30 minutes to install. Super cheap and it works amazingly. Hi kitty, you wanna go up here? Look at that. This is the sweetest cat in the whole wide world, you guys. I also got her six litter boxes, so I never have to do anything. And she has an automatic feeder. So all I have to do is give her water and she won't die. So yeah, so far this thing's pretty awesome.
Also, I spent quite a lot of money to put security film in on every window of my house. Now I have two separate security systems and it tells me if anybody's walking in or around my property. All I need is enough time to grab a firearm and I'm pretty good to go. But it's really nice. These things are very hard to break. You can hit it with a bat, a hammer. It's very difficult, especially with these sliding glass doors. It is so easy to break into these places if it doesn't have some form of security glass or film. So now it's very difficult to break in. And if they do, I'll be ready. And if you guys saw the front of my house and how many cameras and spotlights are looking out, you would think I'm a nutcase. Like it's ridiculous. This thing's like a prison. Now let's do a quick update on the Tesla. I finally hit 30,000 miles in one year. And this is still my favorite Tesla. Everything else drives like a boat and they're super heavy, but this one you can actually throw into the turns. It's super fast, super fun, and super efficient, especially when you charge it from solar. I was actually planning to replace this with the new Model S Plaid, but I hate that yoke steering wheel and the charge speed is practically the same. So I'm gonna be stuck at charge stations for the same amount of time with this or the new Model S. And even though the new Model S has torque vectoring, I'm not sure if it's as good as the Tycon's torque vectoring or if you can throw it into corners like you can with this thing. That thing's just huge. I mean, I used to own a Model S and it's a pain in the butt to drive. It's seven inches wider than this one. This thing is really fun to drive. So I'm gonna test out the Model S and see if I like it, but I highly doubt it. But the only downside is a lot of people know who I am with this car. This thing you can see a million miles away. But yeah, this is my favorite electric car ever. This thing is so fast and fun. I cannot explain how much I love this thing. But the Taycan Turbo S does beat this but I don't want to spend $200,000 on something that this thing can almost beat. And that's pretty much it. So I will talk to you guys soon. Please let me know if you have any comments below or if you don't want to see a video like this ever again. I try to keep all of my personal thoughts, opinions, and life out of these videos, but sometimes I like to, you know, post other things besides solar or I could make a separate channel. So please let me know down below. Anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.